In this video, we're going to create a logo package using Illustrator in the most efficient way. So the first thing is that all my artboards are named according to how I want the file named. So I have my logo in color. I have my logo color reverse, which is the white with the color icon. And then I have my logo reverse, which is an entirely white logo. So I'll do a deselect. I'll go into file, I'll export for screens, and I'm going to select the artboards that I want to export. Over here, we're going to export to, you're going to uh, note the file there where you would like them saved, open location after export, and we're going to create subfolders uh, as format. Now the formats are listed below. It automatically will default wet PNG and it will save it with a transparent background as default. We're going to add scale, but instead we're going to change the uh, format to JPEG 100, meaning that it is um, at highest quality. I'm going to remove the suffix because the suffix is actually going to be added to the file name, which I don't need. And I'll keep that as a two times, so two times the artboard size. And I'm going to also include an SVG, and I will also include a PDF. So we have four file formats so far, and we'll export artboard. It's opened up my folder, which has nicely saved them into the various formats. Now, the one thing we should note is that JPEGs will always flatten to a white uh, background. Now, because I have two or three white logos, well, it doesn't make much sense to keep the JPEGs. So I'm just going to select those and delete. And the last one that we should include is an EPS file. Of course, EPS is always great for print. And to do that, we will go under the file menu and we will save as, and we'll save to our computer, which is going to add in here. And what I'll do is I'll say a new folder, EPS, create, and I'll select my format, EPS. Now I'm going to use artboards and my range was one to five. And we will save. Now in here, we'll keep the default settings and say, okay. Now I'm opening up my EPS and you can see each EPS has been saved as the artboard name, making it nice and simple and quick.